What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a bit since I have done any video. This is crazy, kind of weird talking on camera for the first time because it's been over a month since there's been any content here on YouTube, which I apologize for. But first off, I wanna say thank you to you guys for hitting 1,000 subscribers. We did it on, I think, May 16th was the day we hit 1,000, and we're already at 1,100 and, uh, 1110, 1,105, something like that. I haven't looked yet today. But that is really, really, really cool to see it starting to grow now, especially exponentially. In, pan, in a time span of three weeks, to gain another 10% subscribers or another 100, really, because that's a good chunk of, of people for my channel, that is really incredible to see. It makes me really happy to see that you guys like my content, you like me, you like what I share here. And there's gonna be a lot more coming and a lot more stuff on the way, so be sure, if you're not already subscribed, go down below, smash that subscribe button. But the past month has been an absolutely insane big client website that we just wrapped up. I'll, that's what I'll be showing you guys here in a minute on my computer. And then also getting my lead gen sites just opt, optimized and running and more stuff being built as well as my webinar. The course, making sure that and the funnels for it are all optimized so that way the students get the best results possible. And I also did actually take a trip in the middle of the month, which was really, really nice to do because it was the first vacation I'd taken since 2012. And I actually unplugged for a time span of about four days where the only thing I did was check email and uh, Facebook groups and just the things that I need to do day to day on there and I can do that right from my phone. So that was awesome to really unplug and I had not taken one for so long and normally I'm a person that really likes consistency day to day to day to day, just work every single day. But it was really nice to unplug and even though I got hardly any sleep the whole trip, I was there for a wedding for a family member, so tons of friends and tons of family that were there. It was absolutely nuts, barely any sleep. Just It was basically just a massive party and tons and tons of fun, like four hours of sleep each night. But I came home and I was refreshed, recharged, ready to go to an extent. I was still kind of tired. But anyways, I will have some content later on either the next week or next few days, something like that, talking about how that has helped me tremendously with my business because I was able to just have so much energy and just mentally refreshed to just grind out every single day since I've gotten home. Which leads me into what we're gonna do today. And I wanna share with you how I build out pages in Elementor Pro on a client's website. This client we just wrapped up, I believe it was about 47 pages in total for the first stage of the work that we are going to be doing for them with their website. The vast majority of these are core pages. So these are like the about us, testimonials, services, homepage, et cetera, et cetera, as well as some City Plus service pages. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So if you're brand new to the channel, City Plus service page is a page where we write content specifically about a service and you target it to a specific location. For example, landscaping in Minneapolis, where we wanna have a page that ranks for landscaping in Minneapolis. So you have to have relevant content on there in order to get Google to reward, reward the site to show up there. So there's usually some more things that go on behind the scenes, especially for a more competitive keyword like Minneapolis, of course, that's going to be a very competitive keyword, big city. But for sub suburbs and stuff, you can usually rank with just good quality content on-page content. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big fan of Thrive Architect because in my opinion, it's a lot more beginner friendly. They've been adding some new features that make it, in my opinion, right neck and neck in terms of like the professionalism of how it looks and visual aspects that Elementor Pro offers. But this client had started attempting to kind of build out their site and they realized, holy cow, this is gonna take a lot of effort and they didn't really have the time and that's where we came in. And they ended up starting it with Elementor, so that is the reason they have it. Otherwise, if we built it from scratch, it would definitely be on Thrive Architect. But anyways, with that said, let's hop into it. Thank you. 